I got a 4K webcam. Let's try it out. Talking about gaming, talking about nug, talking about greatness, talking about love. Yeah. This is the Elgato Facecam Pro, which allows you to record in 4K. And like all of Elgato's products, it's really easy to use, flows seamlessly into their ecosystem, and comes with an app that allows you to change up some things. So let's look right into that. So this is the camera stock. This looks decent, I'm not gonna lie, but we can make this look a lot better. So I have the camera settings here through the software that Elgato provides, which is really helpful by the way. There's some pretty cool things at the top that allow you to like zoom all the way in if you want to, but we'll probably keep a zoom around of 226 is fine. You can also change like your pan tilt if you like, but again, don't really mess with that stuff. Uh, focus, I keep it on autofocus, but you can turn it off and mess with it, but I don't recommend, I feel like autofocus is pretty pretty spot on but this is where we start to really make this look better so contrast let's up the contrast let's up the contrast to maybe there we go 60 and then we'll do our saturation and you see how the color starting to come in some about a, about a 65 and then our exposure is really where you're going to get your money. So the exposure, I have an automatic, which looks decent. But I think we can make this look a little bit better if we just take some time and click off that auto. So for your shutter speed, you usually want that to be double of whatever your frame rate is. So I'm shooting in 60 frames per second. So I want my shutter speed to be about 120 or more. And your ISO basically controls the gain to your camera. So the higher the ISO, it usually looks a little bit more grainy. I'm not sure if you guys can see, but I can see like some grain in there. So you're gonna wanna lower your ISO to maybe like there. And then I'll try a little bit of a higher shutter speed. Bump up the lighting. I have three point lighting here these up and you'll notice the lower that you have your ISO if you if you offset it with more light usually you get a good picture and last but not least we have white balance which I don't touch that at all I, I unless you really want to change it and make your your picture warmer like like that but uh, you don't need that so now, something else we could do if you weren't satisfied with this picture, you could lower your ISO down to maybe like a 150 and move your shutter speed to 60 frames per second. And that looks solid too. I'm not a, maybe a little bit higher on the ISO. So yeah, about 60 frames per second with a 200 ISO. And, and that's solid. I think we still have a quality picture, especially for a webcam. I can't name you any other webcam that can get a picture quality this good. So I must say, I'm impressed. This is the before and this is the after. Big difference, right? Hopefully you guys found this helpful and I'll see you in the next one.